Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. I actually wrote this part before seeing that comment. Phantom gets a strange reputation nowadays, but all bias and criticism aside, they're possibly the best class in the entire game when it comes to survivability. They get multiple short cooldown iframe skills, various buffs for both themselves and their entire party, and can even steal a whole slew of explorer's skills to use for themselves. Contrary to what others may believe, they aren't all that painful or hard to understand either. Just a little different and largely forgotten in the current landscape of MapleStory. Their damage in bosses isn't too shabby either, if you're willing to learn how to use them effectively. And fund them, of course. Starting off from the beginner skills, you get Shroud Walk, which is both a skill that puts you in Dark Sight, and lets you teleport wherever the arrows point to three times in a row. Three second cooldown, and you can cancel it by clicking the skill again. Judgment Draw gives a random buff whenever your card counter maxes out, as well as send out cards that attack enemies once you get the Carte skills at later job ranks. These buffs last for 30 seconds each, and can give crit rate, drop rate, status and elemental resistance, or health restored when you attack. You also get the choice to use this skill by clicking it manually, or toggling it to auto so it pops every time the card counter is full. There's next to no reason to ever use manual, so I'd toggle it to automatic every time you log in. Some people keep it on auto until they get the buff they want and swap it back to manual so the buff doesn't get replaced for a little while. Outside of that, it's just free damage lost being kept on manual. Lastly in the beginner tab, this passive for a bunch of free trait levels, skill swipe lets you steal skills from any explorer class players that are near you, and loadout lets you manage which of these skills are active. How do you use these skills? With first job's impeccable memory. Whatever skill you've stolen is what impeccable memory becomes. You can't steal everything, but you can steal and swap between a whole bunch of different attacks and buffs. Not things like toggles or passives though. First job also gives the typical thief double flash jump, that also has an up jump, some avoid ability, and a basic mobbing skill. Second job gives some more passives you'd expect of every class, and this one unique to them, Carte Blanche. If I pronounce that horribly, I'm sorry. With every critical hit, you have a chance to summon cards that fly out at enemies. Also, Judgment Draw sends out 10 of these every time it maxes out and activates. You also get another impeccable memory for a second job skills, a knockback skill, and another mobbing skill. Third job, nothing extravagant here. Passives, one for defensive stats, and this toggle that's essentially an extra life and gives you a 4 second iframe when it activates. 30 minute cooldown though. There's also another impeccable memory for third job skills, this rush skill that can chain with second job's knockback skill, but is functionally pretty useless, and another mobbing attack. Fourth job gets a little more interesting again with, yeah, another impeccable memory and an upgrade to Carte Blanc, but also two hurricane skills. The first one you'll be using often mainly in bossing, but also sometimes grinding, is Milligwheel. You can hold it down, move around while using it, but you can't jump. The second is Tempest, which has a cooldown, does only critical hits, and gets bigger in size after holding it down for a second, lasting up to 5 whole seconds. It does pretty good damage, but also slows your movement speed down to a near snail's pace. You also can't jump with it either. Penumbra is a mobbing skill that links with third job's rush skill, but ignore that part since neither skill has a cooldown anymore. I don't know why it still says that. What's cool about Penumbra is it sends you flying backwards, and that animation actually counts as a teleport, and you can spam it as much as you want. Excessively useful in bossing, especially since it also debuffs enemies with 20% IED. Voldem is a weird, mostly nowadays useless skill past a certain point that steals buffs from enemies. Things like Weapon Cancel, Damage Reflect, etc. Useful against things like Hilla, Arcarium, Horntail, and Pink Bean. Oh, and Akechi. But past that, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. Two minute cooldown. Lastly, even more skills to steal with Impeccable Memory 4, as well as these passives. Though Prier Daria is a skill you can click, the stats it gives are still purely passive. You can still click it to cast its animation because somebody at Nexon is proud of their animation work on that skill. I can't blame them, it's a pretty pretty animation. Also Maple Warrior and Heroes Will, the staples of literally everybody's fourth job. For hyper skills, Phantom's first is Carte Rose Finale, which litters a bunch of glowing rose cards around you that continuously do damage to enemies touching them for a set number of hits. 30 second cooldown. Heroic Memories is the hero equivalent of Epic Adventure, 1 minute uptime 2 minute cooldown, applies to all hero classes in your party. Your third and final hyper skill, Impeccable Memory H, lets you steal hyper skills. Not much else to say there, I'll talk more about what's good to steal in the stolen skills section of the video. 
Hyper passives are mostly straightforward, but you can choose them pretty freely depending on what you wanted to do with your phantom. Both Tempest Reinforce and Cooldown are both good in general because Tempest does big damage every time it's up, and having a shorter cooldown on it is just more damage per minute. Milaguil, Reinforce, and Guard Break are both nice too if you plan on bossing a lot. Everything for Impeccable Memory is good, though it varies depending on what you use your stolen skills for. If you're using them as attack skills for grinding and need a little more damage, get Reinforce. If you're using them mostly for buffs, get Persist, especially if you haven't yet reached 50% buff duration and are using Final Cut from Dual Blader. If you just wanted to get one more 4th job skill to swap around, get Enhance. The Phantom Discord recommends melee reinforce and guard break, and Tempest reinforce is mandatory, and then has everything else minus the extra target passives as optional. So choose what suits your playstyle best. Fifth job is a whole new world, being the very first job rank besides beginner that doesn't give you an impeccable memory. Don't worry, I'm here for you. It's okay. We'll get through this section together. Ace in the Hole, also known as Blackjack, summons three purple cards above you that then fly out, spinning towards enemies and doing a nice chunk of damage. They also bounce around and keep hitting enemies a few times. If you hold down and click the skill, it instead bursts at an enemy nearby you, exploding shortly after. 15 second cooldown. Rift Break on its own is just a skill that attacks in front of you seven times, but if you use it while holding down, it instead teleports you to the nearest enemy or group of enemies that it can target, and attacking them every time you teleport, up to seven times. While holding down the skill still, after the first initial teleport, you can then press other arrow keys to teleport in that direction instead. Initially, this skill has a 30 second cooldown, and that reduces by 3.5 seconds for every extra teleport you don't use. So in the case of if there's no enemies, or you stop holding down the skill key, up to about 5 or 6 seconds cooldown if you only teleport once. Phantom's Mark debuffs enemies hit by Tempest, or Kane skills like Milligwheel. When you debuff enemies 7 times, you can click the skill to teleport forward towards the enemy with the highest max health within range, deal a bunch of damage to them, and make yourself invincible for 2 seconds after teleporting. 30 second cooldown. Luck of the Draw, also known as Joker, is your burst skill, which is your third and final hurricane skill you get, I promise Phantom only gets three. To use it, you simply just hold it down, as your movement speed slows to a crawl, and you whip a flurry of cards all around you. At the end of the duration, you get one of five random buffs for you and your entire party for 30 seconds. Priest restores health and mana over time, Tree of Life reduces damage taken and gives a little bit of status resistance, Hourglass shortens most cooldowns by 20%, Three Swords gives more final damage, and Luck of the Draw gives all these buffs together. The card, not the skill itself. While active, it also reduces your damage taken, and does a ton of damage if you're within range of an enemy. 3 minute cooldown, and aside from the incredibly slow movement speed and randomness of the card buffs, this is such an amazing skill. For other useful nodes Phantom gets, let's start with the ones all Maple Hero classes get. Maple World Goddess's Blessing is no different from other classes that also get it. It gains one charge every three minutes, holds two charges, and simply gives more damage and makes Maple Warrior give way more stats. Freud's Wisdom is an odd skill. It stacks up to six times, with each one adding more buffs every time you're able to use the skill again. Each stack lasts 30 seconds, and you can use the skill again after 25 seconds per stack. The first stack gives skill cooldown reduction, the second gives some stat resistance, the third gives all stats, the fourth gives attack and magic attack, the fifth gives boss damage, and the sixth and final one gives a 30 second long iframe. So it takes roughly 2 minutes and 5 seconds to get to stage 6. 4 minute cooldown once you let the buff expire, or if you die while the skill is active. Yeah, if you die while the skill is up, it goes right to the long cooldown, no matter what. So don't die. If you manage to live and use all 6 stacks, it can be a pretty nice skill with a huge iframe at the end. Otherwise, be extremely careful. Now for the Shared Thief skills. Last Resort is a useful burst skill with 3 stages. Each one you can reach by just clicking the skill. Stage 1, the initial first click, gives you more final damage while reducing your avoidability and increasing your hit damage taken. Stage 2 halves the remaining cooldown, ups the final damage way more, reduces your avoidability down to nearly nothing, and also ups your damage taken slightly more as well. Stage 3 just cancels the skill entirely. Right click the skill to send it to stage 2 immediately, which is super useful and fits within most classes 10 second burst windows. 90 second cooldown going down to 75 seconds at max level. Lastly, and certainly absolutely explicitly least, Venom Burst is useless. Worthless skill until it gets reworked. If you ever get it as a random node, just disassemble it in favor of literally anything else. 
It contributes next to nothing to your overall DPM, DPS, damage ever in your entire natural human life across any character you can get it on, which I believe is all Thief classes. If you could somehow accidentally ingest this skill IRL, you'd be totally fine and never even notice you ate it in the first place. Don't ever use this. Now let's make Phantom easy. As I talked about earlier, keep your cards on auto all the time. Free damage every time the number maxes out, and a free buff that keeps randomizing. If you really wanted to keep the buff active, and you're okay with losing some damage, swap back to manual until it runs out. Phantom's also the only class in the game with three different hurricane-like skills. Luck of the Draw slash Joker is useful for bosses and elites, Tempest is good for both grinding and bossing, and Millie is good as a skill to use in between waiting for cooldown skills to come back up, or while repositioning in a boss. You also get a lot of buffs. Mixing decent 5th job skills like Sharp Eyes in with your stolen buffs, you can have most party buffs at your disposal. Sometimes it's more worth having the stolen version over the decent version though. Like in the case of Holy Symbol, which gives 50% XP compared to decent's 35% at max level, but sadly no drop rate. Let's get serious now. If you're playing Phantom, you either really love the class, or want them for their bossing capabilities. Just remember, you are a machine made to survive the apocalypse. For stolen skill iframes, you got Sacro Sanctity, which is Paladin's Hyper, and Final Cut, which is one of Dual Blade's fourth job skills. Dark Sight 2 if you want to count that. From your own repertoire, you got Avoidability, Phantom's Mark, Luck of the Draw slash Joker at the very end of the skill being cast, and Freud's Wisdom. You also have multiple teleport skills, including your own version of Dark Sight, a revive, and a skill to steal early level bosses buffs. If you're looking to just survive a boss, this class is for you. The damage is a nice bonus, but Phantom has sustained itself for this long purely on survivability and utility. As for how you should damage bosses, throw on good buffs for your stolen skills, and use all your big damage everythings within a burst window. For grinding, using the teleporting function of Rift Break by holding down and then whichever direction enemies are in helps completely clear out a map. Cycling around all your 5th job skills is great for grinding too actually. Though try to save luck of the draw slash joker for when an elite mob or elite boss spawns. Most of the skills you can steal vary in usefulness depending on if you're focusing on grinding or bossing, but in general there's a set number of them that are just flat out better to use than others. You can steal skills in places where people commonly convene. Sadly you can't steal in event maps, but there are plenty of other spots to look for explorers to take skills from, such as major towns like Henesis, Leifer, or any of the Arcane River and Grandis zones. It also helps changing channels around, especially in more populated servers like Reboot slash Kronos, mainly because different friend groups and guilds and such make those places their hangout spots or AFK spots. If you're not having any luck at those places, there's always the option of going to Zakum or other popular bosses and changing channels around, checking everyone sitting on their chairs trying to farm fame. There's a lot of explorer classes people don't usually play, but thankfully most of the skills Phantom wants to steal are from semi-popular ones. Some others like Dark Knight or Paladin you don't see as commonly, so best of luck to you on finding whatever classes you do need. If all else fails, you could just ask friends or your guild or alliance if you have any of those. Maybe even Smegas is a super last resort. With all that being said, here's skills worth stealing. First job, there's not much of no outside of Dark Sight and Magic Guard for survivability. Pathfinder's Cardinal Deluge too. For second job, there's Cardinal Burst for damage, Spirit Blade for more attack, and heal for sustainability and support. Third job gives Cross Surge, which is super useful for more final damage, and things like Holy Symbol for extra XP, or Bowmaster's Arrow Blaster for a really good strong type of summon. It doesn't last as long as normal Arrow Blaster though. Fourth also has a massive final damage boost and iframe with Final Cut, and some other attacks like Frozen Orb or Showdown. And lastly, for Hypers, there's skills like Bullseye Shot, Concentration, and Dark Thirst for extra damage, or Sacro Sanctity for even more iframes. Really, I'd just try things out and see what works best, or ask other Phantom mains what they prefer to use. Speaking of stolen skills, back to one of the fourth job ones you can steal. Did you know Frozen Orb has a very specific weird bug where it stops doing damage entirely? This has been a bug for about the better half of a decade. I'm pretty sure it's existed ever since Frozen Orb was introduced to Maple, and has never gone addressed or fixed. It's hyper niche that only Phantom and Ice Lightning Mage mains ever have to worry about it, or even know about it. It occurs only when you have your computer on for around a month, I think it's like 24 or so days, and the only way to fix it is to completely shut down your computer and turn it back on. You can check your computer's uptime and task manager under performance in the CPU tab. 
I would get footage of this bug and show it off, but I don't want to gamble and wait an entire month to get this video out and done, just for footage of this one thing. It's very evidently documented in both the IL and Phantom Class discords, and the official MapleStory discord. It was documented years ago on the official MapleStory forums multiple times. People do know about it, but it's such a very specific issue there's no telling if it'll ever get fixed. It's not a huge issue, but I've always found it interesting and wanted to talk about it and shed some light on it, in hopes of it maybe getting fixed someday. Anyways, onto Winter ability. Since Phantom has a bunch of useful short cooldown skills throughout their whole kit, get cooldown skip. It can reset AB Link for all classes, but for Phantom specifically, it can also reset Tempest and sometimes your iframe skills. Even more survivability. Sadly, you can't skip 5th job skill cooldowns, but even still, for everything 4th and below, it's still nice to have. For the second and third lines, any mix of buff duration, boss damage, mace or drop rate, or abnormal status damage. The usual things you'd see on most classes, with the addition of buff duration to keep things like final cut up longer, as well as AB link, and some of your other smaller class specific buffs, like from judgment draw. Cooldown hats are useful for you, mainly because your whole fifth job's cooldowns get reduced a good bit. Same with having the Mercedes Legion block. The math of it is a little confusing, but know that ideally Phantom will eventually want a minus 4 second hat much later on down the line. Until then, just a minus 2 second hat with at least one line of stat is still useful, and can boost up your DPM a nice bit. For link skills, it's similar to all other classes, hey, go figure! For grinding, go for some damage and more XP through Evan, Mercedes, and Aran, you know, the typical suspects. And for bossing, max out damage, and maybe opt for some survivability like Resistance Link if you wanted to live even longer. Something looking like this. Phantom's Trinodes give them three different sets to choose from, but the first two are the most useful. The first being Millie, Tempest, and Carte Blanc, mainly as your bossing Trinode. The second is Impeccable Memory 2, 3, and 4, mainly for mobbing whenever you swap on attacking skills. If you plan on using Phantom purely as a boss meal, you can mostly ignore this one, as you'll be using stolen buffs for your impeccable memory skills, which don't give extra stats the higher the node level. Lastly, the third, which is completely optional but still somewhat useful, is Penombre, Carte Rose Finale, neither Blazon or Impeccable Memory 1. Penombre is an extremely versatile backwards teleport that can be spammed, Blazon is your highest damaging native non-stolen jump attack skill, and Carte Rose Finale just because it's a nice chunk of damage every 30 or so seconds. Impeccable Memory 1 has niche use cases if you grind using Pathfinder's Stolen Deluge, but otherwise can be ignored entirely. This is slightly subject to change kind of soonish, due to Phantom getting some better mobbing with Millie in the Dreamer update, so I'd at least run the bossing node for sure if you wanted to future-proof yourself. For Burst slash BA, first, make sure you have 7 stacks of Phantom's Mark ready to go. Second, you'll want to use a good stolen skills loadout for bossing. For the sake of simplicity, let's go with just purely damage for this section. Hero's Spirit Blade, Dark Knight's Cross Surge, Dual Blade's Final Cut, and Marksman's Bullseye Shot. Buff up with all those, plus all your other normal buffs, then pop Heroic Memories, Maple World Goddess's Blessing, Bullseye Shot, and AB Link if you have that, cast Ace in the Hole slash Blackjack, Last Resort Stage 2, Phantom's Mark, then Normal Rift Break, followed by Carte Rose Finale. Hold down Luck of the Draws slash Joker, use Ace in the Hole again, follow that up with Tempest, then keep rotating your skills off cooldown with Millig Will in between downtimes. Shorten down. Stolen skill buffs, normal phantom buffs, cooldown buffs, AB link, Ace in the Hole, Last Resort level 2, Phantom's Mark, Rift Break, Carte Rose Finale, Luck of the Draw, Ace in the Hole again, Tempest, Millie. It's a bit to remember all those, but essentially you'll just want to save all your cooldown skills for after you buff up, and use all your hurricane skills after that. While Phantom nowadays has a bad reputation for not being touched or updated in years, they're not really a terrible choice for a class, especially if you're looking to just survive. For a couple of years I've loosely understood their current existence is justified almost solely on the fact that they can survive and support in major boss parties, contributing to some of the world first clears for bosses. Not every boss, but a good amount. Thanks for watching my guide, and thanks to the Phantom Discord for providing all this Phantom info, even having some detailed discussions on hows or whys of certain skills and such. I hope I did this class enough justice. If you have more class guide ideas you want to see me cover, leave some suggestions down in the comments. I try to put out Maple class guides regularly too, 
So if you wanted to learn more about classes or how to make them easier to play and approach, consider subscribing to the channel. Judging by my last couple of videos, I got a rough idea of what to cover next, but seeing a bunch of people suggest Phantom swayed me enough as a class I used to love, but mostly forgotten about over the years. That's all.